Hey everybody, welcome back to Movie Stalkers. I am your host, Francis Bo, and uh, as you can see, the camera just shook, and I got myself a haircut. Looking pretty good. Um, yeah, just got a little, just got a little better. Just looking pretty nice. Um, also, Sage Creek, representing Sage Creek High School. Represent the school. Um, but enough about that. We have. Captain America Civil War we gotta talk about, and that is the teams have been officially revealed. There was concept art that has been released yesterday or two week, two days ago, and they have officially been online, and I just saw the pictures, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts, give you my thoughts on the team selections, and then afterwards we're gonna talk about something else that I am actually very, very disappointed about. But let's talk about Civil War. So on Captain America's side, we have obviously Captain America, we have Falcon, we have uh, Winter Soldier, uh, Agent 33, and Ant-Man. So uh, that's the team, and I expected Falcon and Winter Soldier to be there. Um, Agent 33 I kind of expected to be there, and uh, uh, Ant-Man, again, kind of weird about it, I mean, I don't know how he would... I kind of understood now after watching Ant-Man a couple times why he's on Captain America's side, but they kind of need to explain that for Ant-Man because I'm not really clear on why he's on that side. Um, oh, and also Hawkeye. I uh, forgot about Hawkeye. Man. And let's talk about Hawkeye for a second. They've got a new costume for him, and he is finally, as, a lot, as all the fans have requested, he is now back in the traditional purple costume. And, uh... It looks good. I mean, I'm not going to say it looks terrible, because honestly, I, at this point, I've kind of gotten used to the uh, the black and, you know, the black uh, costume that he wore. I'm, I was kind of like perfectly normal with that suit. Um, making it purple is going to be a little bit part, going to be a little bit to adjust to, but it still looks nice. It's nice that they're going the classic route for Hawkeye's suit, and it looks pretty good. So, uh, thumbs up on the suit. Um, they didn't change up Captain America's suit at all, it's pretty much the same. Uh, Winter Soldier's suit, pretty much the same. Falcon's pretty much the same. Um, Agent 33 is a new character, and uh, can't wait to see how, what bigger role she plays. And uh, yeah, that is Captain America's team. And uh, there have been, uh, there's been some reports and rumors that Red Wing is also a part of the team. Now, I cannot confirm or deny that, but I'm gonna say right now that that's probably fake. Um, mainly because, uh, that, se that seems a little bit late to throw that in, because they're already done, wrap they're already wrapped filming. They're done with filming, there's no longer filming needed to do, but, hey, it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we always have surprises, so, who knows? So, so that's it for Captain America side, now let's go to Team Stark, aka Team Iron Man. So we obviously have Iron Man. Um, I think Iron Man's suit is the one that he wore in Age of Ultron, or it's maybe a new suit. Um, I could be totally wrong. Um, on Iron Man's side, we have War Machine, obviously. We have Black Widow. We have Black Panther. And we have The Vision. Now, honestly enough, I expected, just like a lot of people, we all expected that Black Widow might be on the Captain America side. Because in Winter Soldier, she kind of had a thing for Captain America. But I guess, I guess I can understand why. She's on Team Stark because she was she was introduced to the in the same universe in Iron Man 2, but eh, they really she needs to explain why her motives are going with Iron Man. So I don't know, maybe they have something. Um, I obviously expect a War Machine to be there. Uh, Black Panther again was a mix. I didn't know where he was going to be. I didn't know where he was going to fall into. And remember, we heard the report that he's going to be switching sides throughout the movie. So remember, he's not a team player. He's going to be switching sides. So expecting to be on both Iron Man and Captain America side so so that's it those are the team photos and we also got this huge clash photo which is pretty cool and uh, yeah pretty cool stuff and uh, people there's also been reports that Tom Holland has been doing additional scenes for Captain America Civil War and you might know that Tom Holland is the new spider-man so who knows maybe spider-man might appear in the Civil War movie maybe not for an end credit scene after all so Keep our keep our fingers come on, come on. Keep your fingers crossed. There you go. So the next thing we gotta talk about is Fantastic Four. I 
I know that I posted a review for it and it got taken down, but I'll make sure to make up for it for you guys eventually. Uh, the movie was terrible, I'll say that. Um, the box office is showing that this thing is a bomb. It's a, it's currently had 133 million at the box office, and the movie made at least 120 million. But the movie is a bomb, and it's not gonna be a. Well, it was not well received by critics. It was not received by audience, and it was not well received at the box office. So, this movie's a bomb, and I do not want a sequel. Josh Trank, 20th Century Fox, give the rights back to Marvel. They definitely this move, this franchise definitely needs to go back to Marvel. They definitely could do some great stuff with this. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that's a little bit, a little bit weird, and the camera's not look the vi look of the the video is not looking so good. But you know what? I gotta post this video right now because I got a big date tomorrow, and I don't have any time to post a video, so I might as well do it now. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think of the sub war choices? Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? And before I <coughs> go, before I sneeze, um, I just want to ask. Um, do you think the Fantastic Four should return to Marvel? Let me know. And also, what which of these teams do you th which of the teams do you think are going to clash with each other? Do you think obviously Iron Man and Captain America? But what else do you do you think? Leave it in the comments below. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Movie Stalkers. I stalk movies so I can talk about them. See you next time. Bow out. Peace.